Today we're just outside of Chicago, Illinois, and we're here to pay our respects to Jerry Springer. Now, Jerry Springer, we all know and love him from the Jerry Springer Show, but there's a lot more to him. He was a pretty interesting guy. Now, he was born in 1944 in London during World War II to parents who were refugees escaping the Holocaust. He was raised in Queens, New York, attended Northwestern University of Law. He became actively involved in politics and worked for the campaign of Robert Kennedy in 1968. Now, after Kennedy's assassination, he started to practice law in the Cincinnati law firm of Frost and Jacobs. In 1970, he ran unsuccessfully for the U.S. House of Representatives. He was also enlisted in the Army Reserves and was called to active duty in Fort Knox. In 1971, he was elected to the Cincinnati City Council. In 1973, he became a partner in the law firm of Grinker, Sudman, and Springer, and did that from 1973 till 1985. But in 1977, he also served as the mayor of Cincinnati, so he was a man who wore a lot of hats. Now, in 1981, Springer stepped down from the city council to run for governor of Ohio. He was seeking the Democratic nomination in the 1982 election, but he failed to win the nomination and put his political ambitions on hold. He started his broadcasting career with commentaries on radio stations. He was also hired as a political reporter and commentator for Cincinnati's NBC affiliate. Now, once he was named the primary news anchor, he needed a catchphrase, so he started signing off by saying, take care of yourself and each other. Within two years, he was Cincinnati's number one news anchor. The Jerry Springer Show debuted on September 30, 1991, and started as a politically oriented talk show. In 1994, Springer and a new producer revamped the show to get higher ratings and targeted tabloid sensationalism. Guests became everyday people confronted on a national TV audience. Some might call it trailer trash. The confrontations and fights became water cooler talk all over the country, and the Jerry Springer show became a huge success running until 2018. He was on the air for 27 years and a broadcasting legend, but he was a really brilliant guy even beyond that. Now, over the years, he made dozens of appearances on TV shows and films. And on April 27th of 2023, Jerry Springer passed away at the age of 79. He was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer only months before. And he was one of those types of guys who always remained youthful and you always thought he would live forever. Now, Jerry Springer was laid to rest this past Sunday in a very quiet ceremony here. I'm not going to disclose the location of this out of respect to the family. But a lot of people have been asking about this location, and it was really, really difficult to figure out where he was at. But this is what things look like today. Now, it's kind of sad and surreal. I mean, Jerry Springer was just an absolute legend of a person. I was shocked that they had this ready so quickly, but this does appear to be a family plot. But this is a very beautiful and quiet location. But Jerry Springer was way more than you saw on his TV show. He was the first to tell you that it was a stupid show, but he entertained us for decades. So in the words of Jerry Springer, take care of yourselves and each other.